White Bulls Barbecue, the best damn barbecue ever. Mm. fam Chris here from White Bulls and today we're going to be doing pulled pork. How do we do that? We're smoking a bone-in pork butt for about 10 hours today and we're rolling it at 275. I'm going to show you guys how to get this done in a 10 hour window, maybe eight depending and you don't have to be sitting around for 18 hours or cooking overnight. No, no, no. This will be ready for dinner. Let's do the damn thing. I got the Traeger Pro 780 rolling. It's rolling at 275, and I cannot wait to show you how great it looks. First, let's prep it, and let's get it on that smoker. Now, when we score this, you wanna go through the fat cap, but not too deep. You wanna kinda of drag it across, super sharp blade with a little bit of pressure. You don't wanna to cut too deep and cut straight through the cap. You wanna cut kinda of right to the meat underneath this cap. And now we're gonna cross hatch it. Which means do the same thing in the opposite direction creating that fence kind of pattern. You want these as even and as clean as you can get them, just like that. That's what you're looking for. We're gonna be seasoning it with pulled hog from White Bulls Barbecue, the best rub in the game for pulled pork. Pork shoulder, pork butt, country style ribs, even pork ribs, amazing stuff. The link will be below. Let's get this seasoned up. I just believe that you just do not need a binder. We're gonna hit it with that seasoning. You don't need a binder, you need some rub that offers some body to it. And we always do the bottom first. Then the sides. Remember this is a bone in pork butt. So on this side, you have a bone right here. Season the hell out of this thing. We got one more side. You could do this the night before, or like me in this case, you could do it about 45 minutes before you're gonna throw it on the smoker. Because you want it to really soak in and get that osmosis effect going when that salt starts to seep into the meat. That is what's gonna start occurring from the moment you put it, put the rub on your meat. Now let's hit that fat cap. Man, I love this rub. And it smells so damn good. I don't know many rubs that you get hungry just putting it on the meat because the smell is just astronomically fire. That is what you should be left with. We're gonna give that 10 minutes we're gonna hit the sides again and hit any other spots where the sodium is gonna seep into it. And that's when you know where you need to put a little extra. Then it's going on the smoker. I'll see you guys out there. The 
guys, we're about an hour and a half in. It's starting to split. Let's hit it with a spritz. You know we're only rocking water. Let's get it. All right, so we're about three and a half hours in. Let's take a look and give it a spritz. About to give it another hour, probe it, and see if it's time to wrap it. So we're about four hours into this cook, give or take, um, and we're gonna go probe it for the first time. I'm gonna predict that it's around 150-ish, probably about another hour before we wrap it, which means it will be around the five to six hour range, um, around the time of wrap, which is pretty quick for an 11 pound butt. So I'm hoping to get this done in about eight to 10 hours and I'm pretty much guaranteeing we will. So let's go check this thing out, spritz it again and get us our temp. Exactly what I said it would be. All right, we'll come back in an hour to spritz that again and check it and make sure it's time to wrap. All right guys, so you're gonna get a pan like this. This one fits perfectly. We're gonna wrap this in foil because it just hit 165 internal. Look at that bark. You know the vibes. Let's wrap this up and get it back on. We're still rolling a 275. All right, Traeger haters. This is what's gonna make you mad. Put that probe in, come over here. We're gonna set that probe alarm for 200. Done deal. Now we could check it on the app. I'll see y'all in an hour or so. All right, so to summarize, we've been smoking this thing for seven hours at 275. We just put it in a foil pan and put the foil over top to really create a space where it can break down and render and you're gonna save all those juices. It's kind of like another version of the Texas Crush that I do on the briskets and the chuck roast and the tri-tips. So, we're figuring that's gonna be about another hour, hour and a half or so, which will bring us to an eight hour cook total. And we're gonna pull that thing off the rested at 205 internal, give it an hour rest, and then we're gonna shred it. So the next time you see me, you'll see me with the pork, and we're gonna get the shredded. Let's do the damn thing. Hit that bell. Moment of truth, we're gonna hit that bone pool. Woo! Super, super clean. Like, wow. Very, very clean. That pulled hog is no joke. This is how you want it. You know why? Because this is what you do with it. Unreal. Look at this. I call these the squares. The little bark morsels. Oh. Shred, game, popping. I mean, come on, look at this. Unbelievable. 
Hmm. Look at this. Would I ever steer you wrong, barbecue fam? Would I ever steer you wrong? Comment below how you feel about this and comment what you want to see next. This is unreal. Look. It is so juicy. Wow. Rage on that beat, going crazy. You got the clean bone pool. You got a nice, easy shred. That buttery pork, that fat cap rendering down. The little squares that you get from cross hatching with the bark on the fat. Forget about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this cook. Hit that bell as always and comment what you wanna see right down there. Until next time, I salute you barbecue fam. The best damn barbecue ever, I'm out. White Bulls Barbecue, the best damn barbecue ever. Mm. Mm -hmm.